Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Star Trek Adventures, um, Season 1, Episode 1, my current campaign of the Warp Onyx campaign, and we're, we're um, continuing here with, uh, we're specifically continuing here with Part B of, of Episode 1, and uh, we join crewman third class security crewman starfleet enterprise nx01 security crewman third class archibald okay that's the player character played by the gold player and um and basically at this point uh basically the enterprise nx01 Captain by Captain Archer, uh, played by Scott, Scott Bakula, um, expertly, uh, is leaving Earth and has Clang, who is a Klingon who has a message that he needs to get back to Starfleet, but Clang is actually, uh, he was comatose. He's now um, conscious, and when he came conscious, Oh, no, no, we're not there yet. Sorry, it's like, we're not, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, so, Clang is, unco is is comatose, and um, and we're on the way, and we're, at this point, we've passed Mars, uh, where the um, the minor child, uh, the, the Mars miner's 15-year-old son was picked up, Eustace, and now we're, we're, we're at the point where we've reached Jupiter, and there are these frangelus spheres in Jupiter, uh, on Jupiter, these frangelus spheres. So, um, so basically, um, the, sci the, you know, the head science officer on Enterprise NX-01 has commanded a survey of these frangelus spheres. So Archibald, um, security officer, security crewman, Archibald, has been commanded to go, to aid with the safety during this survey, this scientific sur this scientific scanning of these frangelus spheres. But as soon as the two Danube class runabouts leave uh, the uh, the Enterprise NX zero one, they run into um, this issue where so as soon as they leave. Um, there is a change in command, so the commanding officer changes. So when when the uh, when it started, it was Lieutenant uh, Second Class Corso, um, and then there was also Lieutenant Third Class Reming. Okay, and uh, Reming is in engineering, and Corso is in medical, and Corso is put in command of this away team. Right, but as soon as the away team leaves the Enterprise NX01. Um, Reming has timed the acceptance of his promotion so that he's in charge. And he is officially in charge because the commander of the away team is not listed as Corso. It's listed as the highest officer, right? And that is Reming at this point. Reming, said, you know, uh, is very dismissive of Corso. Uh, and says, hey, you know, go back and start moving those crates. I'm now piloting the ship and I'm in command of this entire way team. And this way team is no longer going to scan these frangelous spheres. We're going to put one of these frangelous spheres in the back spheres in the back of the second runabout. And then we're going to bring it back. And the reason why is we're at the beginning of this bold, you know, adventure. And we need Captain Archer to realize who, you know, who scans things and who takes things, right? Who, who, um, you know, studies things and who does things, right? And so he really, you know, it's there at the beginning of their run and uh, and this Lieutenant Third Class Engineer, Reming, really wants to stand out. He wants to do something significant. And this is really interesting because there's, I am finding in this Star Trek Adventures, there's this incredible, and uh, there's this incredible tension, right? And it's really fascinating because the whole book is like, hey, if you're Starfleet, you do Starfleet stuff and you never don't do Starfleet stuff and you're a good officer and you respect everyone. And then you watch Star Trek and you're like, uh, what Star Trek did you watch, man? Like people will be going against Starfleet regulations 
all the freaking time. Like Starfleet officers have be are like ridiculously ignoring Starfleet regulations on the regular, right? It's just it's really something. So I found that really interesting. So um and you know, so like I'm kind of painting Reming as a villain, but the reality is he ain't doing nothing that Riker didn't do ten times, right? Like, you know, just like, oh, we gotta do this and you know, we're gonna be we're gonna take an incredible amount of risk, but it's gonna work out and and because we execute flawless it's gonna be great. Yeah, a couple people could have died, but they didn't. So shut it. You know, it it's it's really interesting, you know, and, and one of the things I really love, and this is something very true about Star Trek Adventures, Star Trek Adventures has done, has without a doubt made the best platform to study Star Trek, uh, the intellectual property, right? It, it's really, it's extremely good. I was very impressed with what they were able to accomplish. So, um, so Reming, so, and so basically at this point, then Corso's like, okay, I, I got to do something, right? You know, and so she looks at the security officer. She just looks at him and like, hey, you know, stuff's popping off from a security perspective. Can you help here? And so our uh, crewman, third class Archibald, just walks up and, and gets right in Reming's face. And he says, uh, nope. Corso's in charge, right? And you're like, what? <laughs> you know, he's like, and he's like, we're all going in an incredibly dangerous situation. And uh, we ain't got time for your, you know, last minute nonsense and for changing the mission when you're not really authorized to do that. Yes, you're authorized to lead this, uh, you know, to lead this group. But and I wouldn't I would stand aside if you were. And he says it in a different way. He said it more elegantly than this. I'm just kind of summarizing. And he just kind of like, hey, you know, you are the commander of this, um, you know, of of this away team. But you're using it for bad. Like you're not, you know, you're rushing people into something that's extremely dangerous. These scientists, these are real lives. Somebody's gonna get hurt, right? Like we, I can't just stand by. And so Reming is like, um, so then Reming actually uh, says, listen, you know, I am in charge and I know you're on the security duty, but you need to get out, you, know, uh, you need to do something or get out of the way, right? And so Reming, asked for it right and so sure enough and this was our first combat role right and so basically um crewman archibald he has a value that is spoiling for a fight so this is actually a value and in this game values are used to uh, get milestones and there's three types of milestones there's normal milestones spotlight milestones and arc milestones very interesting um, the normal milestone actually has a real benefit. It can be saved and used for determination. That's actually very real. The spotlight um, milestone is absolute garbage and you just flip two things. Like you take one up, you take one down. It's not even a real advance in any real way. It's really kind of odd that it's in there. And then arc milestone is exactly what you would get in Dungeons and Dragons. It's like, okay, raise one of your attributes by a point. You know, it's, it's a real advantage, right? So it's quite interesting. So, um, so at this point, um, Reming, uh, you know, so he has spoils, you know, spoiling for a fight. So he lives up to his value and he punches Reming dead on in the face. So we make the roll, right? And the attribute is, I'm still learning the attributes and the disciplines, but he makes this, you know, complicated and all roles in, um, in Star Trek Adventures, Modifius 2D20 are quite complicated. The roles are very complicated. You need really smart people on both sides. And I'll tell you right now, anybody who is not good at math is going to struggle with these, with with the roles. And this is a little bit rough. I, I love that Dungeons and Dragons is really has made itself useful to everyone, not just weird math wonks. But I'm telling you, anybody but a weird math wonk is going to struggle with um, with the roles in uh, Star Trek Adventures, Modifius 2D20 system, in my humble opinion. So he makes this and he clocks him, he knocks him clean out and gains momentum, right? And so at that point, then uh, they go to scan, to do the scans, they set up all the scanners and one, and actually one of the scientists is like, hey, we got this all scanned out, but you know, all of us were shocked and frightened by Reming, you know, pulling that nonsense. But the reality is we've worked like a team and we have all scanners in position. And believe it or not, 
I think we can actually do exactly what Reming said. So Reming went about this the way the wrong way, but I think we don't need to scan. One of the scientists is saying, we have a moment right now. We're working in unison. We know what we're doing. And um, and I think we should, you know, quite literally uh, just put that frangible sphere in the second um in the uh, the second runabout and take it back, and they make a roll to do it as a team, assisting uh, assisting each other, and they get it done. And say so they actually capture the fragile sphere, and then they come back. And there's also resolution between Archibald and Reming, and Reming, um, you know, takes it like a man, like you know, takes his punch in the face like a man, getting cold cocked and knocked out, and he's like. You know, uh, and he doesn't say anything to anyone, and none of the and everyone is like, "Hey, what happens on an away team mission uh, in in the orbit of Jupiter stays on the away team mission in the orbit of a Jupiter," and nobody mentions it. There's no there's no paperwork. There's no talk to higher, you know, um, officers. It's it's done right. And Reming even like shows respect for Archibald and is like, "You did what you did," because uh, I was pushing the situation. You know, like I forbargled around and I found out. Now we're good, right? Sometimes that can happen. It, it doesn't happen too often. It takes really courageous, uh, well, uh, I think, well-intentioned, well-rounded people, right? And uh, but it was a really cool um, ending to uh, to that encounter within um, within Star Trek Adventures. Warp on it campaign season one episode one right i'm very thankful for giving an opportunity to uh share this with you every single word you just heard is my opinion on star trek adventures my current campaign warp onics the important part is when i get to hear your humble opinion on it when you get in the comments and send your traffic please consider liking subscribing and have a fetch millennium